Good morning. It's a new day. The Lord has woken us up. That means there's more for us to do. So it's time to rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. It is great to be with you this morning. Attempting the impossible. We read in the scriptures, during the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were afraid. <clears throat> terrified, screaming, it's a ghost, cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Lord, if it is you, Peter replied, tell me to come out on the water with you. So Jesus said, come. Then Peter got down out of the boat and walked on the water. <laughs> When he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink, crying, Lord, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. Oh, you a little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed back into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, truly, you are the Son of God. Matthew 14, 25 through 33. So in this story, Peter's lack of faith forced him to sink so that Jesus had to save him. But Peter is to be commended, though, for, for stepping out of the boat and attempting to walk on the water. Now you notice that the other disciples were not exactly fighting Peter to get out of the boat. Living by faith sometimes means stepping out into the unknown and depending on God to carry you through. And I'm afraid that too many times I've never stepped out of the boat. In my comfortable lifestyle, I miss out on the fullness of God. People who walk by faith aren't afraid to attempt the impossible. I hope, oh, I pray you're a person who places your life in the hands of God and walks on the side of the impossible. And I can't help but envision Indiana Jones when I speak about faith. Anyone who knows about Indiana Jones knows the film, The Last Crusade. Harrison Ford plays Indiana Jones, a daring archeologist who travels the world in search of treasures. And in this film, Indiana and his father are searching for the Holy Grail, the cup reputed to have been used by Christ at the Last Supper. And he and his father is shot just at the end of the quest. And while his father is dying, in the end, the search for the grail takes a new intensity because the cup is said to bring healing power for those who drink from it. With his father groaning in the background, Indiana walks ahead following the ancient book. It gives clues to guide him through a a maze of obstacles to the place where the grail is hidden. He comes to the brink of the chasm deeper than the eye can see. There's no visible way to him to cross this chasm. And he had his face with the impossible. All he sees is the sheer cliff edge and the vast gulf beneath. Then as he studies his guidebook, his face relaxes in realization and he says, it's a leap of faith. With his father whispering, you must believe, boy, you must believe. And he looks straight ahead, gathers his courage, and slowly raises one foot in the attempt to cross over this empty chasm in front of him. With a thud, his foot lands on the ground. The camera pans to show Indiana standing on a narrow rock bridge deceptively carved to match the exact outline of the ravine beneath it. Overcome with relief, he quickly crosses the chasm, discovers the grail on the other side. 
great story of faith. Dr. Carl Bates has a quote in one of his books. There came a time in my life when I earnestly prayed, God, I want your power. Time wore on and the power did not come. And one day the burden was more than I could bear, he says. God, why haven't you answered my prayer? God seemed to whisper back his simple reply. With plans no bigger than yours, you don't need my power. <laughs> Are you willing to be included among those who step out in faith and depend on the power of God? Oh, attempt the impossible today. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We thank you for this morning, this time to, together. We thank you for your word. Oh, Father, help us to have that faith needed, Lord, to attempt the impossible. Lord, to go where you want us to go, even when it seems it's too much to handle. Oh, may we step out in faith and allow you to guide and move and direct our lives. Well, Lord, I pray now as we go forth today, we go and be your light to the world around us, your hands, your feet to those who come across our path. We love you. We thank you. We pray all these things through Jesus Christ, our Lord, and all God's children said, Amen and Amen. Folks, have a blessed day. Coffee on.